everybody, my name is Jay Sisko, and welcome to the Art Corner, episode three. I'm here with Elle, and uh, she's in Ms. Head's first period digital arts class, and today we're going to be reviewing her video editing skills. Hello. <laughs> so, honestly, my first question is, what is this? So, it basically, it's, um, technically it's like a video edit. But I just take a bunch of small clips and kind of add a bunch of transitions to make it like flow and look nice. And that's basically it. You can, like I like to add a lot of different effects and stuff in the background to make it like flow better and kind of just become one video. Yeah, that's what I kind of thought, like watching it before the recording, but honestly. I've done some of these in the past, but not too much. But, um, and I've seen some of them on like TikTok or Instagram or whatever, like mm. social media I'm on. And they're really interesting, but they just look so complex. <laughs> and the 3D visual effect that like you're doing, I'm just like, oh, my brain. <laughs> yeah, my editing software did not like that. <laughs> I tried so hard to make it crash because if it crashed, I would have lost the recording. So, I was trying so hard <laughs> to not make it crash. So, what editing software do you use? I use a light motion, and I actually pay for the pro version, but the um, standard version is also like really, really good. Um, the pro version, what, uh, what like extra things do you pay for for the pro version? So. One of the most noticeable things is it gets rid of the watermark, so I don't need to like do some special things to get rid of the watermark like I did before I had the pro version. Um, and it gives me access to a lot, like a lot more effects. Like I can use all the 3D stuff, which I think in the regular version it's only limited to the flip layer, which doesn't really do much. I use it sometimes, but it's not like a wow kind of effect. Um, and then it gives me access to a lot of other more complex effects and no layers, which is very helpful. And I don't know what I would do without no layers. <laughs> uh, what are no layers? Go into so, context about that. Um, I'm kind of using some right there, but you can, it's kind of like a way to group, but kind of turn it into 3D some space. So like I can make things closer and further away and I can, if I take some clips, I can connect them to the null layer and if I move the null layer, it'll move all of those clips and I can make them closer or further away. So like if I move the null layer to the right, the closer ones will move more right while the further ones will move a little less right to kind of give it the 3D effect. I see. So it's like, um, like a clipping mask and yeah, like yeah. art terms, it would be like a clipping mask. Yeah. 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 See right there. I'm using a no layer to kind of see how I kind of go in and then go out for each clip. Yeah. And that's basically how I use no layers. Cause I can move all those and kind of have them closer and further and it creates a cool effect like that. It's really smooth, and I'm guessing you use, like, a tracking blur? Um, I use motion blur. At yeah. least that's what it's called in, like, After Effects and a light motion, which is what I use. Yeah, that's what I meant, a motion blur. I sometimes yeah. call it tracking blur. I don't know why, but... Um. Mm. But, yeah, I use motion blur to make everything, like, move smoother and, like, more natural. Overall, the finished product looks really smooth, and it's on. It's a really satisfying to watch how these things come together. Um, mm -hmm. It, the amount of time and effort people put into these is not like seen enough by other people because people are like, oh, like people drew this picture, but like people spend hours making these video edits, and people are like, oh, well, okay, yeah. cool. It's like the same thing as making an animation. Like it takes right? hours, if not days or weeks, but it's really it's a nice product that comes out and you're proud of it and that should be seen by the world yeah this one i think it took me six or seven hours i can't remember the exact time normally i would work on them of a, like over a span of like a week or so but since i had to like 
record this one. I tried to get it done all in one sitting, which was not fun. If you actually like watch the time in the upper right corner, I start at 8.30 p.m. and it goes to like, what, 1.30 a.m.? Oh my gosh. Yeah. So oh, I didn't see. even notice that. <laughs> yeah, you can see the time slowly. Like, wow. just getting later and later and later. I think that is our time today. And I really appreciate you coming out and showing a different type of art because there are different types of arts out there. It doesn't have to just be a drawing. Mm-hmm. And that's what the show's doing. We're bringing light to all different types of artists in the school and the community around the school. Mm -hmm. So I appreciate you submitting your wonderful video edit. I love it so much. I will watch this forever. Thank you. And if you have any social medias. Oh, I actually, um, there's a clip in the edit where there's like a little circle going around her head and it's like a watermark and I tagged my Instagram in it. Okay, well, I will leave that in the description or on the video under one of the tags and I'll let people follow you there. So please go support and follow. Leave a nice comment don't be mean (laughs) um and go support one of our students here